Okay, if you need more bells and whistles, uh, you can use this great little module that uh, is available on the rebel.org site um, called menu-system.r and that lets you do really full-blown menus with all the bells and whistles, animated icons, uh, the right look and feel for various operating systems. Um, and here's a quick little example that just shows you all the essential parts of creating a uh, menu with that system. We paste this in Rebel. This will give us a quick look at uh, the code that's needed. Uh, you can see there's a quick little menu up here that's highlighted. And you drop it down. This is the default look and feel, sort of a Linux look and feel. Uh, but we can change all that in this system. Uh, and this uses uh, some very easy code um, to build menus and to, to get things done. First thing you need to do is either download and run the uh, module, um, or you can embed it, which we'll do in the next example. But uh, just as easily to just as easy to download it in this case from the website. Uh, and then here we have uh, the actual menu items. Menu data uh, is the word that we give to it, and we have an edit word also that's assigned to the actual items. There's a menu menu, and inside that menu, the uh, items, item one and item two, inside a block. And then we have a style definition, which we're calling reb style, reb dash style. Uh, and there is uh, one item in that style, which, we, uh, which has an action. Um, and the action for each of these items is going to be just to alert what uh, uh, text was selected. That's referred to by item uh, and body and text. Here we build a quick little GUI. Um, again, we center it and we use a size option so it can be 400 by 500 pixels. Um, and then at uh, 2 pixels by 2 pixels over, 2 pixels down, we put a menu bar. And that is going to contain a menu, which uses the menu data for its menu, and which uses the rev style, which we defined up above for the menu style. Um, and that's how that little menu is built. Very simple. That's a quick little outline that contains everything you need uh, to make that menu system work. Uh, but we're going to do some more uh, interesting things with it. In the rebel.org um, library, there's a very complex uh, example that really demonstrates all of its features. Uh, and there are quite a few features in this menu example. There are um, just about everything you can imagine that you'd want a menu to do uh, can be done with this, this little module. Uh, we'll take a look at a couple here. The first part of this example is just uh, the module, the actual module that we downloaded in the example above. Um, uh, embedded in binary code. And of course if you're creating a, an application that you want to stand alone, you don't want to have to rely on the internet just to download your menu module. You're going to want to, uh, if you use this module, embed it or otherwise include it in your script. You could just uh, include it as a file to be, for example, um, uh, put together with Xpacker X. Um, and uh, that's what this uh, little binary bit is. Um, I'm going to Compress it. This was actually created with the binary embedder that, that you've seen in earlier tutorials. And uh, the menu data here is a bit more complex. There are several menu items. There is a file uh, menu, which we're calling file. We put it all in this menu data block. Um, and in the file menu, um, there is a separate menu, which has, or there are separate items, which uh, we call new and ode open. Um, and those items are item 1 and item 2 and you can put an action block directly after that so for example this will print if you chose item number 1 that could be as big a block of code as you'd like uh, when a person clicks on that menu item you could have it run into a for example a separate GUI or uh, do some networking operations or some file manipulation op operations or calculations or some graphic routines whatever you want to include in there and that could be an entire block of code it could be a, for example even another, another uh, code module that you load and run. Um, 
And here we have another uh, item. And uh, that's going to do something later on. We'll, we'll have a default bit of uh, code that runs. You see here it's also uh, blocked out, but you can, if you want, uh, put icons on any of these uh, items. Just use the uh, icons word and put the uh, icons that you want for on and off. Um, and here there's a separator. Create a little three line separator and that will draw a separa separator into the um, actual menu. And we have a recent menu and inside that we have a separate menu block. So that's going to be a sub menu. Uh, there's an item with a prize and another uh, menu item, try door number two. And then uh, final item. And you'll see here that this has uh, a key sequence that you can press to get that menu. So if you don't want to have to scroll through the menus, you obviously very often in uh, programs you can use a key sequence to, to do the menu. This is how you actually or that menu item. You can, this is how you actually code it. You put it in between, uh, in between those brackets. Uh, and that is going to have the word exit. And then there's a separate menu item. So we've got a file menu uh, header and an edit menu header and in that edit menu um, again we've got the items copy and paste so the two menu entries.